Hello and welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to install your firmware manually on your Xperia Android phone. So the first important step is to back up your phone using your PC companion by connecting it to your personal computer using a USB cable. So first I'll connect it and then go to backup and restore. Click start and click here backup. You can select all your all the files if you want the videos and hit next it will back up all the things I have already backed up it so there is no need to back back it up but don't skip this step so I'll minimize this the second thing is you need to download the flash tool here is the link provided and I'll provide this link in the description of the video as well so I have already downloaded it as well as I have already installed this flash tool but you can down you can install it by just clicking the instructions and following the instructions so I've already done done this so I will just cancel it and after your installation is complete you need to go to this folder your uh, flash tool will be installed in com C drive flash tool and you need to go into this driver folder and run this flash driver executable with admin privileges So click next, here you need to select your phone and you need to select this flash mode drivers as well as fast boot drivers and you need to select your phone from here, just hit install, I have already installed it so I will not do anything here, so I will just cancel it but uh, do install these two as well as your, as well as select the phone, Xperia S, SL, there are various models shown here, just and hit yes and the next important thing is to install the firmware download the firmware so this is the link I'll provide this link as well as in the description so I've already downloaded here I've already downloaded this generic firmware the latest firmware which is released for the Xperia Ion so uh, I'll be upgrading my Xperia Ion phone so just you need to do is right click and extract so you'll get this uh, .ftf file you need to copy this file you need to copy this file into the folder firmware which is present in the flash tools so I've already copied this file you can copy multiple your custom firmware everything here and once it is done what you need to do is you need to run the flash tool 64 bit as well as you need to run it so just uh, double click this thunderbolt icon and your flash tool will pop up so here it is there so just wait for it and once it is there You need to disconnect your phone. So here, you once you have disconnected, you'll see that device disconnected. The next important thing which you need to do is to go to the settings of your Android phone and enable USB debugging mode. So once you go into the settings go into the developer options and then select USB debugging mode hit ok it will prompt and hit ok and then the next thing is uh, go to the settings and then security and select the un unknown sources so I'm, I'm not having any different camera to show you this but uh, you can go to your phone and just go to the Android developer settings as well as the security settings and change this uh, select this options for security 
select this option then so here you can see the screenshots taken from my phone here is USB debugging mode which I have selected and again in the se security settings I have selected this unknown sources next step is switch off your phone So once your phone is switched off, you should remove all the USB cables connected to your phone as well as PC. Wait for 30 seconds and connect the USB cable to your PC. And then you need to open your phone into the flash mode. So to start your phone in the USB flash mode, what you need to do is you need to switch off your phone first and then plug the USB cable to the computer and here you can see the volume down key so you need to insert the USB cable along pressing the volume down key so I will press the volume down key first and while pressing I will insert this USB cable into it so here you can starting in the USB flash mode so that's it that's how you start your phone to the USB flash mode you can see that the device is connected in the flash mode and just go and click to the symbol which is showing the thunderbolt on the left top side and from here you need to select the flash mode and hit ok so once you do this another screen will pop up and here you can see the versions which you have added into the firmware folder of the flash tool so select this LT28H that is the generic version and this is the version which we are going to install and if you want to wipe the data from the phone that your images all the previous phone data you can wipe it off but I will not wipe the data I will keep this as it is and hit ok so it will show that preparing file for flashing So once it is showing what you need to do is you need to again remove the USB cable and turn down your phone and then again you need to open it into the USB that is your flash mode by holding down the volume key and connecting the USB cable so here you can see that it's it says that unplug the USB cable in the again it will it has started the flashing process so this process will continue so here you can see the progress it is 4% done 5% done we will wait for this just sit back and so here you can see it's almost complete you can also also install any custom firm, firmware on your Xperia phone just you need to do is download the firmware and keep it into the firmware folder of the flash tool which you are using to flash your Xperia phone just keep it, select it, follow the steps every step is same and you need to follow the same steps but just you need to select which firmware you want to install and you are done with that so it's almost complete here so here you can see that the flashing has been finished just you need to unplug your phone and you need to restart your phone that's it your restart will take some time so don't be afraid just uh, sit back and enjoy so I'll disconnect the phone so here your device is disconnected restart your phone and that's it it will be so here you can see that your Android version has been updated if you go on continuously clicking on the android version you can also see the, the animation of the jelly bean so that's it that finishes the manual firmware upgrade be done i hope you have enjoyed watching the video and i hope that this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing for more videos you can log on to www.technologylayer.org or you can visit my youtube channel www.youtube.com slash technology lair